When it comes to the fabric of our world, understanding the smallest of particles can tell us incredible things about our universe. Atomic particles can be used as a potential source of limitless energy or the basis of understanding the complicated laws of physics, and the quest to understand how they work has been ferocious, although unravelling the secrets of such tiny particles can be incredibly difficult. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking into three recent discoveries in this field and what they mean for our understanding of particle physics and the pieces that make up our world. Large Hadron Collider Breaks Proton Record The Large Hadron Collider has fascinated scientists as the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator since its inception in 2008. This mammoth facility is run by the European Council for Nuclear Research, near Geneva, Switzerland, as a part of its accelerator complex. Accelerators allow researchers to propel charged particles at nearly the speed of light against objects or other particles to study how the beyond microscopic particles of our world interact to create the fabric of our everyday lives. The Large Hadron Collider is currently the most powerful accelerator in the world, meaning that it can accelerate particles at speeds beyond any other accelerator, and it just got an even bigger upgrade. Already a powerhouse for particle acceleration, the Large Hadron Collider was shut down for three years as the CERN team worked to implement several new cutting-edge improvements for the machine and facility to allow it to become even more powerful. Although it held the title of the largest and most powerful particle accelerator anywhere in the world, these upgrades allowed it to beat its own record and generate beams of protons at a higher energy than ever before. CERN announced this incredible news in a tweet saying, Today, the two LHC pilot beams of protons were accelerated for the first time to the record energy of 6.8 TeV per beam. After restarting LHC, this operation is part of the activities to recommission the machine in preparation of LHC Run 3, planned for the summer of 2022. Previously, the highest amount of proton beam energy produced by the particle accelerator was 6.8 tera electron volts. And while that may not seem like much of an improvement to some, when it comes to the kinetic energy of a single proton, one of the smallest units of the matter that makes up our world, it's a mind-boggling amount full of the potential for new discoveries. The particles that are manipulated in accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider, are understandably difficult to study because they are so infinitely small. When the particles collide with each other, they form larger particles, such as the Higgs boson. But these secondary larger particles only last for less than one second and promptly decay into lighter, smaller particles, which also immediately begin to decay. Measuring these particles requires the use of a detector, as they cannot be directly observed by the naked eye. Developing powerful accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider, allows researchers to have an even more detailed view of the infinitely small pieces that make up our universe. Specifically, the Large Hadron Collider facility and team are interested in using the knowledge ascertained from these experiments to probe the unknowns of dark matter and the complicated intricacies of particle physics. Researchers hope that this new phase of unveiling the added power and capabilities of the Large Hadron Collider will set the stage for an age of groundbreaking research and discoveries about the particles, like protons, that make up our world at the smallest level. A newly measured particle could break known physics. When it comes to particle physics, the devil is in the detail, and the details are incredibly small. The tiniest discrepancy in calculations or discoveries could have monumental impacts for the field in general. For example, recently, physicists found that an elementary particle known as the W boson seems to have been calculated at about 0.1% too heavy. While this might not seem like much at all, such a small percentage is incredibly powerful in its ability to potentially shift the future path of fundamental physics entirely. This challenging discovery was made by the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Batavia, Illinois. Although the particle collider at the site stopped being actively used over 10 years ago, the data has continued to be used by hundreds of members collaborating with the collider detector at Fermilab. Specifically, 
They have been interested in analyzing the W bosons that were produced as a result of the particle collisions in order to attempt to uncover potential sources of error in the calculations and theories generated as a result of the measurements taken all those years ago. If the team can obtain independent confirmation that the measurement of the W boson was indeed 0.1% off, it would mean that there are likely undiscovered particles or other forces at play within the equation that were not initially taken into account, resulting in the necessary reconstruction of the laws of quantum physics. Which, for all their obscurity and mystery, the laws of quantum physics have not been subject to a serious rewrite in over 50 years. Sven Heinemeyer who works as a physicist at the Institute for Theoretical Physics in Madrid and is not affiliated with the Collider Detector at Fermilab, announced that the discovery would result in a necessary change in how we fundamentally view our world, even rivaling the discovery of the Higgs boson, a 2012 revelation that similarly turned the particle physics world upon its head. And although the discovery surrounding the W boson is far-reaching and could have significant ramifications in the way that we view the world, it's not altogether surprising. Physicists have long understood the standard model of particle physics to be incomplete, despite the thorough set of equations capturing all known particles and forces. Researchers have been attempting to uncover flaws in the model as a way to flesh out the unknowns of the principles for many years, and it seems that they may have finally succeeded at long last. Although there are still several foreseeable outcomes where the measurement of the W boson is not validated, the discovery comes at a time when particle physicists are looking to challenge the existing model in order to expand our knowledge base. It overall just feels to me like we're getting close to the point where something's going to break. We're getting close to really seeing beyond the standard model," said Ida El Cantra, a theoretical physicist at the University of Illinois. For now, however, we must simply wait and see what comes of this surprising and potentially pivotal discovery. Major Breakthrough on Nuclear Fusion Energy Nuclear fusion is the energy process in which atomic hydrogen atoms are fused together to form helium in a process that converts matter into energy. It's through this process that stars fuel their massive celestial fires and recently researchers have been looking into nuclear fusion as a potentially limitless source of energy. Such a process would have none of the harmful greenhouse gases typical of other energy sources and would output only small amounts of short-lived radioactive waste. However, nuclear fusion has not yet proven to be a practical source of energy and researchers have focused on finding ways to harness the promising process more reliably. Recently, European scientists took what appears to be a significant step forwards in the quest to harness nuclear fusion in a practical way. The Joint European Taurus, or JET, laboratory located in the United Kingdom announced that they have surpassed the world record, which coincidentally was their own for the amount of energy that was able to be extracted from the nuclear fusion process. Over the course of the experiment, researchers were able to capture 59 megajoules of energy over 5 seconds. This corresponds to about 11 megawatts of power, and although it's not enough to use as a reliable source of energy for any significant length of time yet, this number more than doubled the amount of energy that was able to be captured through similar tests in 1997. Dr. Joe Milnes, the head of operations at the reactor lab where the groundbreaking experiment took place, spoke about the significance of this accomplishment, saying that the jet experiments put us a step closer to fusion power. We've demonstrated that we can create a mini star inside our machine and hold it there for five seconds and get high performance, which really takes us into a new realm. And there were some high stakes powering these experiments as well. JET CEO Professor Ian Chapman told BBC News that these experiments we've just completed had to work. If they hadn't, then we'd have real concerns about whether ITR could meet its goals. This was high stakes, and the fact that we achieved what we did was down to the brilliance of people and their trust in the scientific endeavour. ITR, located in southern France, is a facility that is supported by several of the largest governments in the world in its quest for a way to make nuclear fusion a reliable and clean source of energy by the second half of the century. 
The jet facility has been a leader in the approach to fusion as it replicates the anticipated setup of the ITR lab, which means that these successes provide a glimpse into what the future of nuclear fusion energy truly looks like. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.